How to manage a sustainable level of high performance in a complex world is what we're going to give you some answers on today. Hi and welcome to Empower TV. My name is Josephine Campbell, but Empower TV is about you. Today I have Maiden P with me. Maiden is a coach and an expert in conscious leadership. Welcome and thank you for being here. Thank you. Conscious leadership and conscious capitalism, of which you are a part of the movement, that are some buzzwords. But what does they what do they really mean and and what do you gain as a leader from practicing conscious leadership? Well, I think as a leader that's the most high performing leadership um, training uh, or development that you can actually engage in. So um, I mean you, you get um, higher levels of performance, but not just higher levels of performance, you also get a more sustainable level of performance. Uh, and you also become, you manage, you, you, you pretty much manage the world better as a conscious leader. How, how do you have to do as a leader? How do you practice conscious leadership? Well, <clears throat> I think um, one way of talking about up, uh, working as a conscious leader is really how to upgrade your operating system as a leader. So you upgrade your brain? You upgrade your whole being pretty much and you you with along with that your brain as well so your brain um, can handle a lot more complexity uh, so for instance to illustrate that we can we can compare that to iPhones so and I coincidentally have some iPhones with me here so for instance we start with a 4 so an iPhone 4 uh, that was that was operating the operating system and uh, how you operate would be sufficient uh, on an iPhone 4 maybe 10 20 so on years back but to be su a su successful leader in the complex world we have today you really have to upgrade your operating system your level of consciousness so that you can uh, perform to the equ equivalent of an iPhone 7 8 and, and so on um, so that means that um, so your consciousness is the operating system and you upgrade your consciousness so your thoughts, um, beliefs, habits, uh, all of this, so your behavior, you know, becomes um, better. Yeah. We're posting this on social media. And one thing that works very well on social media is three easy steps to Becoming a conscious leader. Yes, so how do you do that? <laughs> See, I would, if I had that answer, uh, I don't know, I would probably rule the world. <laughs> um, I, I, don't, I don't think that you, there is three easy steps to become a conscious leader because it's, it takes deliberate work in a lot of areas of your life. You start with one area and, and, and one area of your leadership and then you, that spills out to other areas of your leadership. So it's like, you know, there is no easy answer to, um, you know, becoming more um, conscious leader in that sense. It's a complex area and I think that, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, there's, there is no, no easy answer. No, there's no so, easy answer. But basically you have to work with your mental capacity of how to handle complexity, right? And you have to expand your capacity as a being to well, when you upgrade your operating system, so to speak, so uh, and upgrade your level of consciousness, then you also upgrade your your level of mental complexity. So that goes hand in hand, hand in hand. And today, uh, most leaders, um, research shows, have a low mental level of mental complexity, and the ones at higher level of mental complexity outperforms uh, leaders at lower mental levels of mental complexity. So I think for, for any business to be successful today, you really want to engage in conscious leadership to have a more sustainable uh, performance where you, know, you thrive uh, in much, on much higher levels. Men complex mental capacity, mm. that somehow doesn't ring to me. Like normally you would talk about simplifying, at least when you do strategy. You're always trying to simplify your strategy, yeah. right? And in communication, you're simplifying your message. So as a leader, you should make things more complex or make your brain more complex? Or? Well, when you make your brain more complex, things actually get more simple. But you can't simplify things 
So you can, you, if you stick, for instance, today, you know, we live in a VUCA world. So doing a strategy, you know, you're doing a strategy today, you know, next month this might be out of date. So if you have a high level of mental complexity, you're able to deal with that. Uh, and if you have a lower level of mental complexity, you would be more inclined to just stick with what you had and then you'll be vulnerable for a lot of the things that are happening. So that's again, you know, um, yeah, of course do a strategy and of course have some, you know, um, simple answers sometimes, but also have, if you, when you have that level of mental complexity, you can adjust it more easily. You can take factor in things that you didn't think of. You become a lot more open and adaptable uh, and can navigate all of those challenges a lot more easy. So it's basically also a way to become a more agile leader. Yeah, there's so much agile, more innovative, more creative, more effective, you know, better at building relationships. Um, you know, it, it spills into so many areas of your leadership when you work uh, yeah, with consciousness. Mm. So mm. here's the take home message. Don't try to simplify it. Build your mental capacity to be more complex. <laughs>